In today's video, I am going to show you how you can download and set up IGV on a Linux system. IGV stands for Integrative Genomics Viewer. It is a tool that is used to visualize and explore genomic data. If you want to read more about this tool, visit the developer's homepage. I will leave the link to this page in the description. But this is the homepage for the IGV tool. For this tool, we are going to download the binaries. And so on this page, go to the download section here so come to this side the left side click it and then you'll be sent to the download page here you will see different versions of igv we are going to download the linux version so i'll go for this one here this comes packaged with java and so you don't need to install java but if you have java already installed that's also fine so we need to download this zip file which has the binary so you can click it and then you'll be asked to save it. I would prefer to download using my terminal. So I'll get the download link. So I'll just right click and then I'll copy the link. And then I'll go to the terminal to download it. So join me on the terminal. So on the terminal, I'll first cd to my home directory. And then I'll download the zip file which has the binaries. So I'll use widget and then I'll supply it with the link to the file. You can also use curl to download it. So the most important thing here is to download this zip file, which has the binary. So do that. So I'll run this command to download the zip file. Okay, download has been done. Let's do an ls and check the file. So this is the zip file. Perfect, so let's proceed. What I'm going to do next is to extract the contents of this zip file. So I'll say unzip and then I'll specify the file name like this and then I'll run this command. So this will extract everything for me. Perfect. That has been done. So let's check it out. If I do an ls, I'll see a directory here which has the binary. So let's do an ls into it. And then you see the files here. So there's a Java version that comes with this package. And then if you want to open IGV, you have to use the script, which is IGV.sh. So we are going to do that now. With the current setup, if you want to run it, you have to specify it like this, IGV.sh. So let's run this. Okay, so IGV has been open now, so everything is fine. So if you open it for the first time, you are likely to see this being loaded. This is the uh, reference genome for um, Homo sapiens, so that's AG19. And then you also see something like this, but it's fine. So far as IGV has opened successfully, that means that everything we've done is okay. So that's about it. So we can close IGV now. Okay, perfect. So with the current settings, we always have to specify the path okay, to the IGV.sh script. Let's just check it again. So this is the script. If you do an ls into the IGV directory, you will see the script. This is what we run. Okay, but then if you always have to specify the absolute path, then it's maybe problematic if let's say you are working in a different directory. That means you also have to specify the absolute path and uh, we can have a way to uh, avoid all that. So that means that we can um, set up our system so that we only need to call IGV.sh. This one, IGV.sh. Okay, we can configure our system so that we can do it this way. So this is what we are going to do next. So I will show you how to configure your system so that you just have to call the script and then just open and then run IGV. So let's do that now. So let's clear the screen first. So let's do an LS again. Okay, so we are here now. So what we are going to do is to organize our files, okay, there. 
um, binaries. So we will first create a directory called apps. So I'll say make that apps. And then I'm going to move this directory there. So I'll say mvn dash v. And I'll specify the directory and then I'll move it to the apps directory. Like this. And then I will get the absolute part for this directory. So I will cd to apps. And then to the IGV directory. And then I am going to do a PWD here to get the absolute part for this IGV directory. So this part is what I am going to use. So I will copy it. You should also try and copy what you see. And then I will cd back to my home directory. And then I am going to edit the .bashrc file. Okay, I will edit it and I will add this to the part there. But before I edit that .bashrc file, I will make a backup first. So I will say copy cp. That's for copy. And I will say .bashrc. I assume that you are in the home directory. If you are not in the home directory, make sure you do a cd and then go to your home directory and then you can do the copy here. So I'll just do a cp.bashrc and then I'll say bashrc.back. This is just a backup so that in case anything goes wrong, we can reverse it back. So that's about it. So now I am going to edit the .bashrc file and then add this part to the system part. So I'll say nano. I'll use nano, but you can also use vi or any text editor, but I prefer to use nano. So I'll say nano dot bash rc and then this will open for me. So I'll scroll down to this side, okay, where I have some blank spaces, and then I will say export path equals dollar path colon, and I'll specify the path to the IGV. So this about this. I will then save the changes so i will just press ctrl x and then just type y to save the changes and then i am done so with what i have now i'll open a new bash terminal okay i'm going to open a new terminal and then from there i will run the igv by specifying only the script so i will do that now so let's open a new terminal now Okay, so I have a new terminal open. So I'll just type igv.sh and then I'll run it. So if everything is successful, then you should see igv opening for you, like what is happening here. So that's about it. So we can wait and then let igv open. So now IGV has been open now. So that means that everything we've done is successful now. So whenever you open your terminal, whenever you open a new terminal, you can just call IGV by the script. That is IGV.sh and it will open for you. So this is how uh, we, we set up our system so that uh, we only call the script and then IGV will open for us. So that's about it. Now let's do some cleanup. Let's close this first and then continue. let me clear the screen first okay so now we are going to remove unwanted files let's do an ls again in our home directory and then we see this file this backup file okay so you can remove it so i'll say rm dash i dash rc dot back when i use a dash i i'll be prompted again so that means i need to confirm so i'll just type y to confirm and then the file will be deleted i also do same for this one here this zip file but it's optional you can choose to keep the zip file you can choose to remove it it's up to you but i want to remove it because i don't need it any longer so i'll just use rm-i and then i will remove this also again so i'll just type y to confirm so that's about it so everything has been done nicely so uh, this is how we download and then configure igv on a linux system so um, that's about it
if you also want to learn how you can use IGV to visualize um, dynamic data, then you can just check this playlist that has been shown right now. So that's about it. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next session. Goodbye.